Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. Guys, in LWC, as we all are aware, there are two kinds of quick action available. We can use screen action and the headerless actions are also there. So guys, this video is going to be related to a quick action. In this video, I'll show you how you can create an email as a quick action. Either it could be screen action or a headerless action also. So I'll show you how you can use your email composer to send an email as a quick action uh, in your org using lightning web component right and also i'll show you how you can pre-populate values in that email composer so let's start today's video guys i'm kapil your host and you're watching salesforce bold all right guys let's start today's video so guys in this video i'll show you how you can create an email as a quick action okay so you can create an email as a quick action uh, in both uh, available quick actions like the screen one and the headerless one so in a screen action what we can do is like we can create a ui where we'll be having a button and on the click of that button you will be opening that email composer with some pre-populated value and then you will be able to send an email Second option could be to use the headerless action where you won't be having an UI, but on the click of the quick action itself, it will just open the email composer with the pre-populated values in it, right? So based on the functionality, the headerless action, I believe would be good for it. So let's start it uh, by creating a lightning web component first, okay? So this is my lightning web component, guys. The component name is email quick action, okay? So to make it available as a quick action, first we need to make some changes in the meta.xml file. Okay, so in meta file, first you have to make it exposed, true. Okay, then after that we'll be adding targets. So lightning web com uh, component quick actions can be used on the record page. So we will be adding targets here. Okay. And here we will be adding the target as the lightning record page. Okay, that should be fine. Now we will be adding the configuration for this target. So we'll add target, target configs. And here we will add target config. Okay, the target will be lightning record action. Lightning. So this is going to be our target and in this lightning record action, we'll be using the headerless action. So for that, we have to add action type. As action. Okay, so action type is fine. Target config is fine. And target config is closing here. Let me save it and try to deploy it first. Hopefully we won't be having any error here. Okay, we are having an error. Okay. Okay guys, so here for the targets also like in target we were having the record page and here we were having record actions. So that's why we were getting this error. So let's deploy this again, deploy source to all. yes it has been deployed successfully now as i told you already it is going to be a headerless action okay so in that we won't be having any ui so we won't be making any change in the html file instead of that we'll be having uh, changes in the javascript file so in headerless quick action guys to invoke the action on the click of the quick action button you need to have api invoke function in it so i'll be using api invoke and before that let me add api here and also let me take the record id so this is going to be my record id from the page and for the demo we'll be just using it on on the account record page okay so uh, to create the email composer let me just create a page reference variable first where we'll be uh, redirecting it using the navigate mixin right so for that, let's take navigate mixin also. So we will import 
navigate navigation mixing from lightning navigation okay this is fine and also guys to pre-populate values in it you have to import another thing which is going to be encode default field values so for that you can do import encode default field values from lightning page reference util okay so this page reference util will allow you to have some default field values in that uh, email composer okay so now here let's get back to the variable the page reference so first we'll add the type which is going to be quick action okay then we will add attributes so in attributes we will add a api name for email it is going to be send email so we'll do global dot send email here right and then we will add state where we'll be passing the record id and the field values as well okay so for a state First, let's add record ID okay. and it is going to be this dot record ID okay and then we will have default default field values okay so for default field values we will use encode default field values so let me just copy it from here and paste it here and then here inside it we'll be using the field value so let's say uh, for this example we'll be using html body and subject in it so html body uh, let's say default values from quick action okay comma subject hello from salesforce bolt okay so this is fine this is closed okay now we will redirect the user on the click of that button using navigate mixin so for that we will do navigation mixin dot navigate and we will navigate it to the page reference variable instead of using the variable you can also have this complete code these few lines inside this brackets to uh, have it directly there okay so our javascript code is also ready let's try to deploy it okay i will do deploy source to org Okay, it has been deployed successfully. We are not having any error. Now let's go back to the org. So this is my org guys and I will be using it on the account page. So first I will do edit object and I will add a quick action here. Okay, so I'll go button links and action, new action. And here I will select lightning web component. The component is here. We won't be having any standard label, but as a label, let's say send email. Okay. And let's save it. Okay, it is done. Now we'll go to page layouts and we'll go to account layout. And in account layout, we will go to mobile and lightning actions and let's search for that here it is send email and we will add it here so we are adding it at the first place so it would be having the easier visibility on the page 
So let's save it quickly. Okay, it has been saved. Now let's go to account. And let's hope we won't be having any runtime error here. Okay, now you can see the new send email uh, button here. So when I will click on this button, it should open a pop-up. Let me quickly see if we are having any error. So yes, we are having an error in console. Okay, it says uh, this dot navigate is not a function. I know why we are having this error. So let's go back to the class. So guys, to navig uh, use the navigation mixin in your page or in your lightning web component, what you need to do is you need to extend that navigate navigation mixin here as well instead of this lightning element. So let me cut it from here and we'll do navigation mix in and in brackets we'll be having lightning element. Okay, let me quickly deploy this JavaScript file again. Deploy source to arc. And it is deployed now. Let's go back to the arc. Hit refresh. And here you go. So this is the email composer, which is working as a quick action. So you can consider it like a email quick action, right? So here in this composer, as you can see, we are having from address, which is the default address in my org. You are having a two address. You are having a BCC as well. In subject, you can see the subject is here. Hello from Salesforce Bold. And in the email also, we are having the default email text here. It is related to my account. Okay, so this is an email composer where you can pre-populate value using this quick action functionality. And now you can simply send this email to anywhere. So let's say Salesforce bolt at the rate gmail.com. I'm sending it to this email. And you just have to click on the send button. And on the click of the send button, it will be closing this pop-up and it will be giving you a success toast notification as well. How cool it is. So let me show it to you. So when you click on send, it will close the pop-up and you can see the success notification here. Email was sent and I can see the notification on my cell phone. The email has been received here. And here also you can see the send, uh, the email hello from Salesforce Bolt. So this is the way using which you can create a, a, create a quick action, a email as a quick action, right? So that it is for today guys. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, right? And if you need the complete code guys, so I'm having the complete code snipped on my blog, which is salesforcepoll.com. So do check out that blog as well if you need the complete code. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching.